What's going on, people? We're going to do a really quick recipe, I hope, um, about turnips today. I've got um, some turnips that my receptionist gave me, and they're fresh out of the ground. Well, they've probably been out of the ground for a little while. But um, we're going to cook them and see how they come out. We're going to cook them two different ways, so you're going to see two different ways of how to cook turnips. Turnips are really healthy for you. they got a lot of vitamins in it, and really the greens are are extremely healthy for you for healthy colon health and um, vitamin C and things like that. So follow us along. All right, these are what we're going to start off with. Of course, now those are the turnips. And again, um, they are fresh out of the ground. You can still see the dirt on them. Um, we're going to do one recipe with strictly turnips. One recipe is going to be some mashed turnips and potatoes. Sometimes you can use potatoes to kind of um, smooth out the taste a little bit. We're going to use some chicken broth. We're going to use a little bit of uh, house seasoning. House seasoning consists of salt, pepper, uh, onion powder, garlic powder. We're also going to use, I love Tony Saturies. That's a really good spicy type of uh, seasoning. We're going to use some Philadelphia cream cheese, some heavy whipping cream, and some Parmesan cheese. And we're going to put it together. Alrighty, so we peeled both the turnips and the um, the potatoes. Of course, you cut the bottom off the turnip and the, you cut the stalk off the, the turnip. If the greens were fresh, you could eat those greens in another recipe we'd show you a little bit later. Now we're going to dice up both heads. The, the smaller turnip we're going to use um, in a little mashed turnip um, potato type of deal. And then the other one we're just going to use just purely... Uh, turnip and some seasonings so you you want to go ahead and take some um, your chicken broth and bring it to a boil and I've got the smaller pot for the turnip by itself the larger pot for our turnips and our potatoes alrighty so we've got our our turnips just by themselves back in the back pot we're gonna put our potatoes in this pot here as well as our turnip mixture too. This one, they're all, they've always really been cubed. Then we're gonna add some spices to them to kind of season them up somewhat. And again, um, seasoning is based purely on your taste, guys. Um, I'm gonna use some of this powder here, which is just the house seasoning that I told you about a little while ago. Put some of that in there. That looked like a lot, but it wasn't a lot. And we're gonna use some of the Tony Saturies here as well. That comes out really good now. This Tony Saturies will make you sneeze every time. You kinda of wanna really season that. Now, try not to put too much salt in there. And the reason why is you're already using chicken broth. And so chicken broth has a lot of salt in it already. We're gonna bring those up to a boil for or until they're tender. Sometimes it can take 20 minutes. Sometimes it can take 30 minutes. That's the reason why you kind of cube them up. Now, another thing we're going to add to our plain turnips, we're going to add a little bit of dill weed, um, about a tablespoon of dill weed, about a tablespoon of basil, sweet basil, and just a little bit of cayenne pepper, maybe about half of a, that's about a fourth of a, fourth of a um, tablespoon, just to give it a little bit of flavor. All righty, we have cooked these um, regular turnips for about for about 10 minutes or so. And look at that. That's kind of how you want those right there. See how that, how that breaks up? You can kind of split it. Delicious. Hot, 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 but good. Oh God, that cayenne pepper really makes it taste good. All right, already it's been about 30 minutes for the potatoes and the um, turnips. The turnips are, are pretty much ready. They will kind of see how they come apart real easily there. Potatoes are what take the longest. So there's a potato. How do you tell the difference? The potatoes look more yellow, like this right here is a potato. They look more yellow. The um, turnips look more uh, translucent, kind of clear, white looking. Now we're going to pour off that fluid and then we're going to mash. 
All right, this is where all our goodness start. I put about two tablespoons of sour cream in there. I put um, about two tablespoons of butter. Um, I put about two tablespoons of the, it was supposed to be Parmesan cheese, but this is an, an Italian blend. It's Parmesan Asiago and Romano cheese. Um, about a couple of tablespoons of the whipping uh, cream as well too. And hopefully it's not, and of course the sour cream as well, the two tablespoons of the sour cream. So hopefully it's not gonna be too um, watery. I'm gonna mash it here. I know some people don't like to see metal on metal, but the masher is metal. Chill out. It's not gonna hurt you to hear metal clanging up against metal. I don't know why some people get so doggone upset about metal. You, I could use a masher that's, I use a masher that's plastic, I guess, but you know, this right here works a lot better to me. All right. Now, another thing that you can do too, guys, to make it taste a little bit better, is add just a, maybe a couple of teaspoons full of mustard, dried mustard. That'll give it a little bit of a tang, almost a potato salad type of taste. That's a lot of mustard, but mustard's good. And again, we're gonna mash it again, make it nice and creamy, and this right here will be delicious, guys. Now, once you, once you get that done there, See, some of the cheese is starting to stick to it. And then you can use your wooden spoon, wooden spoon, and kind of stir it around real good. Make it nice and creamy. Um, we're gonna see if we need to add any salt to it. I don't think we're gonna have to though, but we might have to add a little bit. All right, and the twist that is on says what it tastes like. Let's see what it tastes like. Okay, that's pretty good. I was about to double dip, but I said, no, I better not. That's pretty doggone good. It does need a little bit more salt to it. So I'm gonna add a little bit of Tony Saturi. That's delicious though, guys. You gotta try this recipe. It's, it's very good for you. I'm not gonna say it's low carb, but it's just a really good gluttony food or or comfort food if you want to. That turnip that I've got in there, you can taste a little bit of that kick of spice in the turnip itself. Try it, mix it up with potatoes, eat it plain, you'll like it either way. Thanks guys.